Now, I'm making use of two kinds of pencil. My HB pencil, which has had a lighter lead, and my 5A pencil, which have a thicker lead. This is really much that I need to get a new one though. My compass pencil is just my HB because it's a kind of lighter lead. It's used for my elevation or whatever. But this will be used for my drawing. This will be used for drawing my outline and then this for the main drawing at first. All right. So let us first start. All, we are looking at it from this arrow, okay? But the first thing I said that we should draw the sectional front view. Now here's the thing. Sectional front view. Don't let this confuse your head. Draw front view and then make it look like as if it's sectioned. Okay, now sectional front view, look at this arrow, okay? This is X, X, at this cutting plane, X, S, okay? Then the side view, as this part, and then the top view from on top. So I'm going to start with the front view, the sectional front view. Now, sectional front view, it means if I should cut this block like this, what will I, I should draw, what will I see? Like, from, from, like look at this in this direction. Whatever I'm seeing, I'm, I'm to draw it. If I call this, okay, whatever I'm seeing at this part here, this is what at this or that part here. So it's actually the same thing. The secret here is that draw the front view and then know where you section. Now let's go about drawing the front view first. I want the scaling. Scaling means is that you reduce the object or you enlarge the object. Now I'm going to use a reduction scale because this scale is so big. Can I find my paper? Now let's reduce the scale. I'll use a scale of one is to two. One ratio two. This is my perfect and my best skill. Okay, it means whatever I'm having, I'm going to divide it by two and work with that measurement. So instead of having seventy, I'm going to have what thirty-five. So I'm going to measure thirty-five. But please, if you're actually using a big paper, please work with the normal skill. Okay, so whatever I'm, I'll, I'll be making it so plain so that I can I'm able to scale it as we are drawing. Okay, so this is thirty-five. Okay. From here, okay, from this part here, I'm going up how many? Now, this distance here is from beginning to end is 60, but the total here is 20, okay? So, this is 60, and here is 20. Here will be 40. 60 minus 20, so it is 40. So, I'll be going up 40 from here. So if that is 40, if I scale 40, what will I be having? 20. I'll be going up 20. All right, 20. Now, I'm going up 20 at this point. Now let's get the talent. Okay, talent here will be the 35. Mark 20 here, so I'll make sure that it's straight. This distance here is 20. If I scale it, if I scale it, it will become 10. 10. Then I'll draw it up. Now, this. This stuff is at the end of the circle. Total length here is 145. That's 6 plus 6 plus 25 for the extra radius. Okay, that's 145. If I scale it, divided by 2, that will be having 72.5. Now let me mark that total that length 72.5. It's 72.5. Okay, so it's somewhere around this area. Wow, that's quite some way big. Okay, now at this point, okay, now. From on top, this circle is of diameter 50 millimeter. Then, if I scale it, I'll be having 25 millimeter. All right, so definitely from here to here will be my main impact, which is 13. Now, look at this stuff from here to here. That length it's 40. But if I scale that 40, I'll be having 20. I'm moving this way, it's 20. Okay. Now, if this is a cylinder, look at this from this side, it's gonna appear like a rectangle. Okay, so I'm gonna get this up. And I'll join. Okay. Now, from this axis, from this, from this circle here, from, I mean from this cylinder, I'll join it to this part here at the end of the diagram. So I have something like this. 
Okay, distance here is 10. So if it's 10, I'll use 5. If I scale it, it's 5. 0.5. Okay. I omitted something in the front view, okay? Remember this was the 30 um the 40 measure that has 20 after scaling it. We didn't take note of this part here. This step up. Step up here is 20, that is 10. So it's already 20. So I will do 10 upward, something like this. 10. Okay. Definitely I have to clean this slant. And this so we just turn down okay I'm drawing to this edge here so now I'll be having something like this and then like this let's go ahead with our elongation back and this all right so basically on the side view aspects that length of six we have done that I know that this side view now from here is straight straight okay so i'll go straight straight following this part here okay this thing here which is this after scaling now to draw this size view please bear in mind so that distance here is 60 if i scale it i'll be having 30 i'll mark 30 and let's mark the half of it which is 15 okay at this half i'll draw just a faint line to guide me. At this part of it, there is a curve with um, radius of 20. Okay, it used to be 20. Then, if I say this, I'll be having 10. Okay, so radius of 20. I'll be having 10. 10. So, with radius of to be 10, I'll measure 10 as 1 cm. Okay, my meter rule. I'll pin here. Cut and then I'll pin, then I'll draw it. Now the radius here is 10, okay, from this part here is 10, it's also 10 from this part. If I scale it, I'll be having 5. This is 5, okay. So I'm going to be placing it at this edge here. I'll go 5 down towards this area. And then I'll draw. Physically, I can just join these two points. I'll do the same thing for this other side. Down. Pin. And draw the part that really join it. That's how we're gonna get the curve, okay? Now we've gotten this curve. I've gotten this curve. Let's get here. This is 20, so that will be 10. That is here already. So I don't need to make sure because it's actually the same thing from here to here. So I'll go 10. And from here, 10 upward. And I'll close it. Now close it. Okay, happy done that. Now let's let's draw this part of it. Okay, that is slanted. If I look at it from from this side, okay, it will appear as something straight. This will appear something straight because in orthographic projection, anything that's behind tends to push the front and um, look like one plane. Done that. Now from the center here, okay, this is ten. Okay, so that will be if I scale it, I'll be having five. If this, if this is five, what what would be the half of five? Two point five. So from the center line here, I'm going to go 2.5, and then I will draw it to where this line stop. That is here. Draw it here. Okay, now, 
we have done with this okay this part here now let, let's draw this circle this circle is a diameter of 50 okay diameter is 50 what will be the radius 25 now if i scale 25 what will be having 12.5 that is 1.25 so if, if i'm in my compass and i measure 12.5 this is 12 12.5 should be around this area okay i'll pin cuts on that straight line i think that's the line i drew now draw the circle Now we were told that the true holes is first is that diameter of 20, second is diameter of 60. Six on both sides, that is the depth is six, depth of this hole kind of. So diameter of um, 20, radius will be what? 10. Scaling 10, I'm having 5. I've reduced that 0 0.5. So I'll be going with 0 0.5 first. This is 30, scale is 15. Radius then will be within the right, so give it 7.5. That's 0 0.75. At this point, this is slanted to it, slanted to it. Okay, from this part here, it's a little slant, it's a little slant. Now I'm, I'm going 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5, and from here, 0 0.5. Okay, so I should trace this up. And then I'll join this to meet it. Same thing to pass it through this point up. We're joining this to meet it. So this is basically how the side view will look like. So let's look at the top view. Total length here is 60 and 70. That is 30 and 35. 35 so this is, i have to come here with 30 30 and then i'll draw it straight there is a space here whatever that is here is also on this part here okay so this is space here there's also a space here and there is this on the center okay so there yeah, this is actually on top it and the distance here is this distance here is the diameter which is 50 if i scale it by having 25 25. Now I'm going to start from the center point because this will be decentralized, okay? So I'll be getting the half of 30, which is 15. Now since the total length is 25, after scaling, 25, that is 12.5. The half, 12.5, 12.5, so 12.5, 12.5. Okay? Now, from on top, I'm going, to, I'm going to see only this square here on top. So I'll be moving this part I have retraced to it. This person is the one. Sorry, I made a mistake with elongating extra. So I'll be stopping here. Yeah. Okay, now this this center point that I marked, this half that I, I divided, I want to elongate it so that will guide me. I'm done with that. Now let's go on with this this line here. Okay, this line. That is five five, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. After scaling, so from here, going 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Again, I will stop it at this extra point, this point here. Now taking this part, which is this part here. So I have how to clean it here too. Okay. Remember, this is a slant, okay? I'll still see it here. So from this part here, I'll just stick in this part. Second, second. Oh, okay, see what I will do. I just elongate this part here. On this part here, I'll just draw broken lines. And draw broken lines. And then do the same thing for this up part here. Broken lines. 
I'm broken lines. Okay, I'm actually done with my top view. Now, let's add the hidden details. There's a circle here, okay, which is diameter of 15. If I scale it up by having, uh, it to be 7.5, if I scale it up by having, ah, that's 3.52. So, 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 so small. And then that's it. Or oh, I don't know how I can be able to draw this circle of radius of 3.5. Need a small thing and sketch it, okay? I, I don't think the compass can reduce up to 0 0.35, it's not possible. 0 0.5 is the minimum. Okay, now to draw this part here from on top on the top view, okay, which is 20, that will be 10, 1, 1, that's 20. From here, I'll be going 1 and 1. Okay, now I'll draw it straight down with block of lines. This smaller circle, okay, will come somewhere around here, but we'll stop at this line. Now, this circle here at the top, oof, the first one is 20, that's 10. That's 0 0.5. First one is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay. Now, so that's. Uh, now, I'm not so confused. I'll just leave this. But there, there, there should be one more broken line towards around this axis. Okay. On the front view, I'm also going to. Elongate this and draw broken lines with it. Broken lines and broken lines. Okay, what else? Nothing else, right? So, guys, I guess our job here is done, and this is how photographic projection will look like. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode.